appear as a dotted line it is a hidden edges so we have to join them with a dotted line so this line is dotted line this line would be dotted this line would be dotted now what's about front view in front view we have to identify the point of intersection between this these edges like this draw vertical lines from here here point d double dash is there draw vertical line from here horizontal line from here and that will cut this square solid over here one point this point translate this point like this to here and this would be the point of intersection first point similarly for second point this line straight line it cuts this square over here so from this point draw vertical line so this vertical line and this horizontal line both will cut over here so that is another intersectional point now what's about third point like yes from here this is point a double dash vertical line from point a double dash translate it to over here it will cut this is square over here so from this point draw vertical line and horizontal line from point a dash so it would be here similarly four point c double dash horizontal line from point c double dash vertical line again horizontal line and vertical line it would appear over here now both are prism square prism and no any curve is there so join all these points with a straight line like this because it will be visible and no curvature shape would be there after joining them with a straight line think about the type of line over here this portion means this edge the horizontal upper edge of this green prism would be inside this red prism over here so this line would appear as a dotted line because it's a hidden portion similarly this bottom one here also that line would not appear so join them or draw this line as a dotted line and here inter one mid middle one this line this will also be dotted line because it is hidden in this portion only right so this is final answer of given problem in examination you insert each dimension at least once here the dimensions are not inserted but it's mandatory to insert the any dimension at least once in the diagram i had skipped that step to avoid the complication complication of this problem if i insert all the dimensions in this figure it would appear much complicated so here you have to add the side length square of 25 mm side so sq25 if you write that's enough height is 70 write at least once it's enough now here next problem about cylinder and triangular prism this is the case of cylinder and triangular triangular prism vertical cylinder is penetrated by a prism and diamond and data is given like this a cylinder 50 mm diameter 70 mm height or axis is completely penetrated by a triangular prism of 45 mm sides 75 mm axis horizontally again here horizontally horizontal interpretation is there penetration is horizontal so first we think about cylinder draw front view and top view of the cylinder draw xy line top view of cylinder is circle front view is rectangle name the end points draw axis and draw its side view as well so we have drawn three views of given cylinder so first line is drawn now think about second portion of first line it is penetrated by a triangular prism of 45 mm side and 70 mm height horizontally one flat face of the prism is parallel to vertical plane and contains axis of cylinder how to draw this so for that draw like this draw triangular like this because here it is given that one flat face of the prism is parallel to vertical plane and contains axis of the prism 
so when a face contains the axis it will appear like this in slide view it will appear like this so draw a triangle of given dimension such that <coughs> the base of this triangle is on axis now find out the point of intersection <coughs> between this prism and cylinder here two points would be there c and d point a is here and point f is here translate all these points a c d e f <coughs> and draw its front view because the triangular prism will appear as a rectangle in a front view like this see this one if you are looking from front side it would appear as a rectangle like this and this upper edge this edge is outside this solid so it would be fully visible like this <coughs> now this portion this edge which is inside the cylinder this will not appear over here so it is drawn by a dotted line similarly the bottom line this one also would be the dotted line because it is not visible it is hidden portion after drawing these two dotted lines we have to draw its top view to draw its top view translate this side view over here to this 45 degree line from this draw horizontal line from here translate this point draw horizontal line and then translate these two points over here and complete this rectangle so this is the top view of this given assembly or given interpenetration after drawing this top view what should we do of course always we find out the point of intersection in top view from the side view of solid so for that translate these points one by one like this right a b c d e f translate from front side view to top view and here this point this this line b e will cut this circle over here and from that draw vertical line and that will cut over here right similar analogy which we employed in earlier problems is used over here find out the point of intersection on this circle translate them to front view and from side view take projections and find out the position of the point like this here one solid is cylinder so the cylinder is having curvature face so the point of intersection would be curvature so join all these points with a smooth curve it would be like this so this curve this one it would appear like this this is drawn over here and here the side length here the vertical edges will not be visible because it is a removed portion so these lines are trimmed out which were which were inside this and here in this case this line c dash c to d this portion it is inside this triangular prism so this also will not appear so join this also with dotted line and one thing you should take care about over here that any time never two solid lines meet in case of intersection of solids because if we draw this is a solid line then two solid lines cross cross each other so so it should not be there either of these four lines should be dotted so here this line would be dotted now next problem about square prism square prism two square prisms are penetrated by each other the dimensions and data is given like this this is the case in the previous cases both the solids were penetrating at right angle and bisecting each other here some complex problem is given the complexity arises because of the two faces of penetrating prism are 30 degree inclined to hp which was 45 degree in earlier cases the di here details given like this a square prism 30 mm base 
and 70 mm axis is completely penetrated by another square prism of 25 mm sides 75 70 mm axis horizontally both axes bisect each other two faces of penetrating prism are 30 degree inclined to uhp because of this line the complexity of problem increases how and why first how to solve this problem so for that first think about first line only and draw top view and front view like this draw x y line draw its top view because all faces are inclined at equal angle with x y line so draw its top view it would be square like this and name the points and draw its front view as we know how to draw this front view translate this top view points project it over here and draw its side view as well after drawing this side view we have to find we have to draw this view that is the side view of penetrating solid so for that the angle of inclination of this face is given 30 degree so here draw a line at an angle of 30 degree like this and from that line complete this square here both axis bisect each other is given so find out midpoint of this axis and from this midpoint draw a line at an angle of 30 30 degree with xy line like this this is so angle between this line this side and x axis xy line is 30 degree complete this square now after drawing this side view here this inner one inner line that should be removed see here this is the line but after drawing this square this inner portion inner edge will not appear so erase that line name the end points a b c d find out points of intersection with the similar analogy which we employed earlier translate the axis point like this a b c d e and f and here both the solids are square prism so join the points of intersection with the straight lines like this this would appear like this and join all these points like this see this outside a b and c that is towards us this is a this is b and this is c that is towards us so join them with a straight line and full line it it's not hidden edges similarly this this edge and this edge this one is visible because you see it is towards our side and this one it is back side c dash to d dash this is here this corner to back so this this point should be joined with the dotted line so join this points with a dotted line like this because it's a hidden portion it is to the back side of this penetrating prism so join these points with a dotted line because it is not visible and this line is also not visible this edge is also not visible so join them with a dotted line dotted line this is full line so this is final problem so this is complete solution of this problem now we conclude today's talk hints some hints of this solution of this problem the first think type of solids which type of solid is given to you whether it is prism pyramid cylinder or cone then after think about its position with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane then think about penetrating solid position whether it is horizontal or vertical then find out the intersectional points then from those intersectional points take projections and then after locating the point of intersection join all those points either with the straight line or with the curve depends upon the types of solid and these are some useful internet websites which you can refer to solve any problem related to this subject and my email address is also shown over here you can contact me for further discussion or to find out more interesting ways 
to teach this subject or to learn various techniques i am very much thankful to all of you for being with me being with me uh, thankful to gtu and bisag for providing such a nice opportunity to discuss about mechanical drafting thank you thanks to all of you